Imagine a world where artificial intelligence writes poetry, solves complex problems, and even helps discover new medicines. Now, imagine the man behind this revolution, a tech prodigy who went from coding in his childhood bedroom to leading one of the most powerful AI companies on the planet. This is the story of Deeker Sam Altman, the visionary CEO of OpenAI, the mastermind behind ChatGPT, and one of the most influential figures in Silicon Valley. The extraordinary life of Sam Altman, with a montage of tech headlines, AI robots, and Altman speaking on stage. But how did he get here? What were the key moments that shaped him? And what does his journey tell us about the future of AI? Buckle up, because this is more than just a biography. This is a deep dive into the mind of a modern-day tech titan. Early life and formative years. Sam Altman was born on April 22, 1985, in Chicago, but grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. His mother was a dermatologist, and his father worked in real estate. Even as a child, Sam was different, curious, analytical, and obsessed with how things worked. At just eight years old, he was already dismantling computers, figuring out how they functioned. By the time he was a teenager, he was programming his own software. While other kids were playing video games, Sam was coding them. High School and Early Entrepreneurship At John Burroughs School, a prestigious private school in St. Louis, Sam's talent for technology became undeniable. He taught himself advanced programming and even started selling his own software to local businesses. But Sam wasn't just a tech nerd. He was also deeply interested in entrepreneurship. He read biographies of famous business leaders and dreamed of building something world-changing. Stanford and the decision to drop out. In 2003, Sam enrolled at Stanford University to study computer science. But after just two years, he made a bold decision. He dropped out. Why? Because he believed real-world experience would teach him more than a classroom ever could. This wasn't just a reckless move. It was a calculated risk. Silicon Valley was booming, and Sam wanted in. Little did he know, his first startup was just around the corner. The birth of a Silicon Valley icon, Sam co-founded Looped, one of the first ever location-based social networking apps. Imagine a mix of Google Maps and Facebook check-ins, years before either existed. Looped was part of the very first batch of startups funded by Y Combinator, the legendary startup accelerator. Though the app didn't become a household name, it proved something crucial. Sam Altman had an eye for innovation. Y Combinator, shaping the future of startups. In 2011, Looped was acquired for $43 million, a decent exit. But Sam's real impact was just beginning. Paul Graham, Y Combinator's founder, saw something special in him and made him president of YC in 2014. Under Sam's leadership, Y Combinator became a launchpad for unicorns, Airbnb, Dropbox, Stripe, and more. He didn't just fund startups, he shaped the future of Silicon Valley. Sam's leadership philosophy. What made Sam such an effective leader? Three things. One, relentless focus. He believed in doing fewer things, but doing them exceptionally well. Two, bold decision-making. He wasn't afraid to take big risks. Three, long-term thinking. While others chased quick wins, Sam played the long game, the birth of OpenAI. In 2015, Sam co-founded OpenAI alongside Elon Musk, Greg Brockman, and others. Their mission? To ensure artificial general intelligence, AGI, benefits all of humanity, not just a few powerful corporations. At first, OpenAI was a non-profit, but in 2019, it shifted to a capped profit model to attract funding. This decision was controversial. Some feared it would compromise OpenAI's mission. ChatGPT changes everything. 
Then, in November 2022, OpenAI launched ChatGPT, and the world went crazy. Within five days, it had one million users. Suddenly, AI wasn't just a sci-fi concept, it was something anyone could use. Microsoft saw the potential and invested $10 billion into OpenAI, making it one of the most valuable AI companies in history. Sam Altman was now at the center of the AI revolution. The ethics of AI, but with great power comes great responsibility. Sam has been vocal about AI's risks, job displacement, misinformation, even existential threats. He's testified before Congress, urging for smart regulations before it's too late. The 2023 Open AI Crisis and Comeback In November 2023, the unthinkable happened. Sam Altman was fired by OpenAI's board. The reason? Allegedly, he wasn't consistently candid with them. The backlash was instant. 95% of OpenAI employees threatened to quit. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella publicly backed Sam. After five chaotic days, the board reversed course. Sam was reinstated as CEO. This saga proved one thing. Sam Altman isn't just a CEO. He's the heart and soul of OpenAI. What's next for Sam Altman? Now, Sam is focused on GPT-5, more advanced AI models, and ensuring AI aligns with human values. But his ambitions don't stop there. Beyond AI, nuclear fusion, and other ventures, Sam has invested in Helion Energy, a nuclear fusion startup. He believes clean, Limitless energy could be the next big breakthrough. Legacy and final thoughts. Sam Altman's story is still being written, but one thing is clear. He's not just building the future. He's ensuring it's a future that benefits all of us. From a curious kid in St. Louis to the leader of the AI revolution, Sam Altman's journey is a testament to vision, resilience, and bold thinking. What's your take on his story? Let's discuss in the comments. If you enjoyed and learned a thing or two in this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting biographies. Don't forget to drop your comments in the comments section, and if you would like me to make a biography video of anyone you love, please drop it in the comments section too.